Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. And in this video, we're going to have a quick look at changing the default project location in Visual Studio 2017. And whilst we're at it, we'll have a look at changing the default repository location if you've got Visual Studio 2017 and GitHub linked together. So, the default location is in a folder under your user folder called source and then repos. This is the default. Perfectly adequate, very good location. I don't like that location. I prefer to save my code to the root drive. It's a separate folder, complete from anything. So, first of all, if you a lot of people like it on a separate disk, so on a DOE or F or whatever drive. In my case, it's on the C drive. So I'm going to create a new folder. In my instance, I'm going to call it projects. You could call it code, you could call it source as Microsoft do, or whatever you want to call it. But I'm calling mine projects. So I've created the folder projects on the C drive, as we can see. So if we click in there, we'll get the path C projects. Okay. So what we need to do now is go to tools, tools, and then the options. Now we don't need the environment, so we'll collapse that by clicking the little triangle. What we need is projects and solutions, and we'll click the little triangle in there to expand it. Now we need the option locations. As you can see under projects location, it's user folder source repos. Now you can if you want, if you know the exact path, just type it in. And there we go. It'll highlight, you know, it'll navigate to as you go through. And there you go. If you're not completely sure or you've forgotten or whatever, you can click on the little button at the end with the three ellipses and navigate using the Windows Explorer. Thing. Just make sure that your folder is the one that you want and the path is where you want it to be, including the drive letter. And then click select folder. And here we are. <coughs> We've got the correct place. And then click OK. So if we create a new app, here we go. We've got it in the new set, the default save location. So I'll just get rid of that. Now we want to do the uh, GitHub default repository location. For that, we need the Team Explorer, which you usually find as a tab on the right hand side of your screen. Just click that. If you don't find it there, go to your view menu, menu and then Team Explorer just there. Oh, it's collapsed it. Okay, so we'll go here. So it's there. What I'll do is I'll make this a full page so we can see what we're doing. Okay, now the bit we need is settings just here. We can also, if we if you click the text here, home, you've got settings there. Takes you to exactly the same place. Then you've got Git and then global settings. So click on global settings. Okay, and that will bring you to the Git settings page. As you can see, default repository location is the normal uh, Visual Studio default location. So you can either, if you know the exact path, you can type it in here and it will save to that. Or you can come to the end of this text box. Let me get rid of that. As you can see, enter a default path for repositories required. So if you want to navigate to it, come to the end and you've got again the little button with the three ellipses. Click. And then we will go to navigate to where you want, where your project folder is. Just navigate the usual way, clicking on the relevant folders, etc. Click OK. And there we go. That's all you have to do. There's no save or anything like that. That's the default repository location. So that's it. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.